We move for Timu. Moo. And we have <laughs> keyboards from Timu. These right here are five keyboards from Timu, ranging from like really cheap to kind of expensive, honestly. Should you buy them? We're about to open up and find out. But first, they were from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TV20 to get a special discount. And then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliability of all the products they have to offer. So be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TV20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. All right, so we spent $190 on keyboards from Timu, and they're all in one bag. In Timu <laughs> fashion, all in one bag. We're gonna open it up and see, there's already a hole in the bag as well, so that's a great start, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, so we did try to keep track of what keyboard we bought, but in all honesty, if it's anything like our Amazon keyboard videos, we're not gonna be able to tell, and some of these are already looking a little rough around <laughs> Dude, the they look dented. We got cardboard wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh, black cardboard. Tack right. Shark, and a Jazz, which has a puncture wound already. McAllister, <laughs> it's been stabbed. Which one do you want to look at first? The Snoopadoodiri. The Snoopadoodiri sn 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 <laughs> says elegance, wisdom, benevolence. So the thing with Timu, uh, a lot of their keyboards, you get a listing. Oh look, I just won the jackpot, guys. <laughs> Go Timu. Uh, the thing with Timu is there's a lot of options for their keyboards, and I think this one was only like eighteen dollars. Oh wow, eighteen bucks, and it's mechanical. I can already tell that. It sounds like some blue switches of some sort. It actually is USB-C and detachable. I don't even know why we bought Jonah a $90 keyboard this when, is the one he needs. when the Snadupu exists. <laughs> it actually has flip out feet. It has some rubber foot pads for anti-slip. It doesn't come with a keycap pour, so let's do this really dangerous. <laughs> Safety first. Cherry style switch, and let me see if I can see what brand this is. Bussin. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm not even playing. Wait. It's B-Sun or Bussin. Yeah, B-Sun. So we're calling it Bussin. Bussin. <laughs> it sounds pretty decent. We'll do a little typing test with it, um, but yeah, I really want to see what this thing looks like and build quality for 18 bucks. I mean, that's actually not bad at all. All right, what does the RGB look like? Let's see. It's, it looks it's like it's not. static so far. I mean, well, hey, there's red, green, blue on here. Don't, you know, don't, don't doubt it just yet. Um, hey, function, purple. that's purple. brightness. Yeah, yeah that's, it, that's it looks like, like they're it. just static. So they're basically just soldered LEDs in each spot, but it, it is colorful, it is bright. So I got to give that to them. Let's do a quick typing test. This is the first keyboard camera really rated compared to the other ones, but you know what? For under it wasn't 20 bad. bucks, it's it not nearly bad. that bad. Let's move on to another one. We're getting jazzy, ladies and gentlemen, with the Ajaz. Uh, uh -huh. This one was $25, and Ajaz is a company that I have heard of before, and I actually had a keyboard that I used three or four years ago that I did like a sticker bomb mod on. So the AK35i. Uh, mechanical shaft <laughs> game <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> Make sure you have a mechanical shaft, ladies and gentlemen. So we got a hot swap keyboard, which I think Timu loves blue switches. I, it was really hard to find something without blue switches. And it is purple! Can you see this color, Jackson? Whoa! <laughs> it is purple. It's a purple keyboard, full-size keyboard. It's, oh, it's Grimace. <laughs> Grimace! Cool color scheme. The switches are, as we mentioned, blue, but it comes with red switches. But only... Only a couple. But only a couple, just so you can think about switching to red switch at some point. Let's see, oh, is this- Oh, it's black switch. Wow, oh, it has, it has all of them. It has two black, two oh. red, two brown. Wow, a switch tester included. Oh. That's beautiful. This is a Ajaz switch. So Ajaz has their own switches, which- That, it, that adds some play. Yeah, it's not too bad. On the back, we have a random piece of plastic. Nice, I guess it's protecting this. That's kind of like a design on the back. Two flip out feet. And um, yeah. Looks pretty sturdy. I like the volume knob and the MIDI controls, but again, we're not huge fans of full-size keyboards, but if you are, this is a pretty good option. Let's see what the lighting's like. I don't know if it's RGB or if it's just gonna be like white lighting. Let's just see. So we did discover one thing as well. This has some wobble to it. <laughs> um, I'll move my fingers so oh, y'all can see it. It's a joystick. Um, yeah, with it being hot swappable, I think it's just not as sturdy. That could be the biggest downfall with hot swap uh, switches is they'll kind of have some wobble to them. But you know what? We're gonna see what the RGB looks like. And I will clarify, we did pay $33 for this keyboard, but it is now $46. Ooh. I don't know if I pay $46 for it right now, but let's see. What's the lighting look like? It's white maybe? White. 
I think. Which kind of, I feel like RGB. I think it matches. I think it's just brightness. I, I, don't, I don't think you can change it from white, which probably fine for this. I mean, it, it matches the keyboard theme pretty well. Let's do a typing test and hear more blue switches. So this keyboard's kind of weird. There's like some spots where like the enter and shift key actually feel pretty dang good, but then the space bar is weird. And then there's some keys that are more rally than others. I wouldn't pay $46 for it. Um, do you think it's better than that one? What, what, what do you think? Like, no, I mean, do we get a detachable cable? This one's more colorful. And the price I think really kills it. Like it's- It's double. It's double the price. <laughs> and this one is, if not the same, maybe a little bit better. So it's currently second place. What are you second doing, place. Ajaz? All right, guys, the next keyboard is the Attack Shark. So this one we, can't, we're having trouble finding the exact listing, but we believe we paid either 45 or a little over 50 for it. So we know it's over 40 bucks. And the very first thing that Matt pointed out, and I have to agree, is they really tried to copy Corsair. So they already took like the K name and then that RGB logo and then look at the side. Everything about that side. box is Corsair. Like yeah. it is really Corsair and the I would love to see a comparison. Is Corsair definitely, I don't think would do this. No, Corsair's no. not really all about going crazy colors. They just have nice RGB. Now there are two keyboards that were the expensive ones. One that is supposed to be black crystal white and the other one's a white and blue design, which I, it might be this one is what we got. Oh, really? Yeah, so that then one this one, if, it, if that's the one we got, that one was $54. <laughs> Ooh, all right, this is gonna have Jonah jealous. This might be his new keyboard <laughs> for real ski. We got a gold, I guess, what do you call it? A DIN connector. This guy is gonna go, it can only go in one way, just like that. And then it goes to USB-C. So yeah, this would be like what, what we call like an artisan coiled cable. Um, and the whole design is, put them in the back there. I've never seen this before. It has like a, uh, a paddle. I don't even know what you'd call that. A slider. It has a slider yeah. to go between, um, I guess, 2.4 gigahertz. Wired, I guess. Automatically I mean, wired <laughs> in Bluetooth. So it's, it's interesting. This cable's like shiny. It looks glittery. It is very glittery. It's a very strange layout. Oh, red switches. You, yes. just, you gotta pay a lot to get red switches at yes. Timu, guys. That's how it works. Uh, let's see what these guys actually are. But yeah, the keyboard itself looks super nice. I will show you guys the back. I kind of forgot that. I'd hope for a somewhat name brand, like yeah. name brand red switch with a $54 keyboard. Yeah, they're, they're Jinxian, which is like Matt said, somewhat name brand. But here's what the back looks like. We got dual flip up feet for multiple heights. We have multiple uh, rubber feet for anti-slide. Oh, and then this is cool too, cable routing, which <laughs> doesn't work with that. Doesn't work with that, but still cool that it has it. It is all just plastic on the outside though. It looks like it's gonna glow. Is it gonna glow? Eh, maybe not. That's RGB. Yeah, real yeah, RGB. Real RGB. Um, yeah, it's not the brightest, uh, but actually it's really bright from like certain angles I'm noticing, or maybe in the dark it wouldn't be too bad, but this one's definitely the, I mean, it's expensive. So like, I'd hope it's nice so far. Let's do a quick typing test, see how she sounds. Well, that was actually very solid. That sounded really nice. Everything sounds like it's actually lubed and stabilized well. We don't have any weird rattles or anything. So I'm definitely ranking this one number one. Definitely right number one. And I'm glad to see a keyboard that we spent the most money on actually being the best keyboard so far. Oh, yeah. So let's move on to the next one. Yes, so we have crystal meth here, ladies and gentlemen. Just kidding. This is the black crystal keyboard, I believe, which we paid a little over $40 for. Ugh. So this is the yeah. X75 with a little smiley face on it. Oh. It looks so great. Accessories are underneath. Please check before throw away. Um, nothing else really goofy. I mean, we got uh, Wait, does it say QR disco? codes. Oh no, okay. I thought it said disco, man. It, that would it have been said funny. disco, that would have been funny. Discord. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and see. But yeah, as we mentioned, the cameraman Jonah has a keyboard that he uses here from the same company. And this one's and it was, pretty nice. It was nice. on Amazon too, which yeah. This, this one is... looks pretty sick. Let's go ahead and get all the accessories out. But I really wanted, there was a white version that was a clear white version, but it was sold out. And I just checked again and it's still sold out. So people really like that keyboard. And How much did this one run? This one was a little over forty dollars, so it's cheaper than the other one. And it has a cover on it's it, dude. They, they went crazy with the covers. Oh, this looks so sick. I really like the round. Oh wow, I didn't realize this looks like so sick. Rounded keycaps. All right, let's go ahead and peel all this off. This entire thing is see-through. I believe this has a red switch. Nope, it's blue. It sounds. It it's a really so nice sounding blue switch keyboard. I'll be honest with you. Oh, you know what? That's that's weird. It's a white switch. What the hell? It just says XM, which isn't that the model name? No, I thought it was like X75. X75, I don't know, XM. This thing is so premium feeling. Like it's it's pretty crazy for all plastic design. On the back, you can see underneath the plastic, the 
What was this? A bunch of LEDs. Keyboard? Stuff. It just says, <laughs> <laughs> like, you see, see, John, can you get that on camera? We might have used the... Um, oh, and this one, is it wireless? It has an on-off switch. Pretty solid so far. Um, I'm curious to see what it looks like with lighting, though, because that's going to be pretty crazy. But I'll say, man, for a blue switch, it's not that annoying rattle. Mm -hmm. It has that nice little bit of click to it that actually makes it pretty satisfying, I'll be honest with you. Let's go it's ahead. freaking me out, man. Is it freaking you out? This design is freaking me out. Whoa. Oh, ooh, that, that's some 16 million RGB now, right that's there. That's a lot of RGB, baby. This thing is sick looking. I've never seen a keyboard like this before. I haven't Like either. it's very, it's very unique and I'll give them a lot of credit for that. It does look really cool. I, I gotta give it to him too with the lights on and the way it like almost makes everything blend together. It it, it looks pretty and sick. It is really sick. And there is like RGB like all the way around the side. Do you see it on too. the back even? I mean, now we just gotta do a typing test and I really want to do like a side by side thing. I want to hear what this kind of blue switch keyboard sounds versus like one of our cheaper ones. So you can kind of notice the sound difference and some of the rattle here because I feel like this one's pretty well put together. Now that is one of the better blue switch keyboards I've definitely typed on. I will say the texture, I don't know if it over time, like your oils from your fingers might make it better, honestly, but it like your fingers stick a little bit. Cause it's like, it's like a weird, like plastic that definitely sticks to your fingers sometimes. So it's, it's kind of a weird typing experience, but me personally, I like this one the best. I don't know. These guys were really leaning into like, it's a cool keyboard, but it's not nearly as cool as that one over there. You like the attack, uh, the attack shark better? <laughs> the attack shark? It's like that one. If you like the keyboard, you're going to love it. Yes. It's just like you're like you're, so you're saying that it's too sticky. I feel yeah. like, what if you're sweating? I feel like it'd be slippery, like. Yeah, it could I be. Know. I like this one over it, um, but I mean, you know, it's probably split down the middle. This is a keyboard, if you really like blue switches, you can find a blue switches or another switch, it's a really good option, but it, really cool to see a unique keyboard from Timu. Let's just dial it back to a really cheap keyboard to finish this. <laughs> this is a small keyboard, man. This thing is like a 60%. This is a Fortniteer's dream right here. Yeah, this is every Fortnite kid's dream. And oh, we got reds, that's exciting. Nice. So for 18 bucks, it looks like we got a removable USB type C, which God, this is starting to get crazy. The fact that they can do that for that price. We have true red mechanical switches. Yeah. Uh, and this one does have two layers of adjustment and we got some rubber feet. So, you know, it checks out in terms of that. It does feel cheap. I mean, it's a little bit lighter weight, but once you set it down, I mean, I honestly, if I walked into a room and you had like this $18 keyboard next to like a $90 keyboard that was built the exact same, I wouldn't know the difference right away. I'd have to really look at them and probably see the lighting once it's on. But let's see what type of switch we actually get. Okay, so a cherry style switch and they are, oh, they're Jinxian. Wow. Jinxian, nice. That's weird. I didn't nice think brand. I'd actually see a somewhat name brand, but yeah, not a bad looking keyboard design at all. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it actually, I mean, it looks like it's gonna have lighting. I just don't know. There's no way it's gonna be like good RGB. I have right? a feeling it's gonna be the RGB. What was the one we added, RGBP? I'll go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt. We'll see if there's any, yeah. Our RGBP, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, especially if you're on a super tight budget of 20 bucks or less. Go ahead and give it a type and test. Let's type it. My thoughts, my thoughts, Joni, you would like to hear Is it them? bad that I feel like this one's like third or tied for second? No, this one's not bad. The only thing I... Space, Space bar is pretty rattly. A little rattly, rattly yeah. but... No, it's not bad, and okay, so let's think of why. So, so we're thinking, Jonah, come on over here. So we're thinking that these two, the Tax Shark and the UZ Yunzi keyboard, um, are like kind of tied for first. Yeah, it could go back and forth either way. Um, that one was a blue switch, which is basically the same form factor, but it has the black and white. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking these keyboards, if you will. And yeah, I mean, overall, I expected to honestly see some more randomness. Like normally we buy these keyboards on Amazon and we get like some really crazy typos and stuff like that. But honestly, these just had some very typical typos that we normally see. And it was kind of cool seeing two brands that we're kind of familiar with uh, from Timu. So it seems like Timu is not only expanding their horizons in other countries, but also we're getting some more name brands in there too. Yeah, the keyboard lineup on Timu is actually 
actually pretty good. And if you were to buy a keyboard at Timu or go through the whole rewards program and maybe get one for free, mm -hmm. um, you won't be really disappointed with any of these real options that are on the table today. But if you want to shop around on Timu, check the links down below. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Buyer beware, Timu is still a very interesting website like all the other ones. You've seen the uh, laptops we reviewed and stuff like that. You do need to be very careful what you buy on there. But if you do your research and maybe take a look at some of the ones we featured in today's video, you might actually get a good deal. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now, all of these keyboards will be for sale at PCGrills.tech. They will be in person only, and they're probably going to be cheaper than we paid for them by quite a bit. So, if you ever have a chance to come to Louisville, Kentucky, come check us out. PCGrills.tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code TOSTYBRUS to go and check out, we'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.